one and all. I hope you've had a great start of your day and are ready to begin with a low impact, high intensity workout along with me, Dr. Aditi, your exercise expert. Let's start with the warm up. Keep some distance between your legs. Place both your hands on your hips and we will start by tilting our head to both the sides. Repeat this gradually, slowly for 10 counts. Next, we will focus on moving your head down and up gradually, slowly again for another 10 counts. Next we have shoulder rotations. Keep both of your hands on your shoulders and start with clockwise movements. Make sure you make full movements, 10 counts, and once you're done with 10, you can gradually change your side and do anti-clockwise movements. Let's move on to hip rotations. Keep your hands on your hips and move those hips in round wide circular movements. Let's do 10 clockwise and 10 anti-clockwise. Let's move on to ankle rotations. Let's start with lifting up our right leg and making 10 clockwise and 10 anti-clockwise circular movements with your ankle. Once this is done, do the same with your left leg. 10 clockwise and 10 anti-clockwise movements with your feet. Let's begin with the first exercise, marching. Try to lift your knees as high as possible and go at a comfortable pace, not too fast, not too slow. Next, let's do leg curls with shoulder retraction movements with our hands. You can use 1 liter water bottle or 1 kg dumbbells for all of these exercises now on. Try to match your leg movement along with your hands. Now we will be starting by doing side steps and along with that we will be doing bicep curls. So while stepping to the side you can do your bicep curl and while coming back to the center relax your hands. Match your pace and go according to whatever speed is comfortable for you. You can also add in breathing patterns such as exhaling when you're doing a bicep curl. and inhaling when you relax
Now we will be doing tricep kickbacks specifically only for your tricep muscle. Stand with a little bit of distance between your legs. Knees slightly bent. Bend forwards but make sure your back is straight. Keep your hands at 90 degrees and make sure that your hand stays beside your body. Do not move your hand away from your body. Now from this position just completely straighten your hand from your elbow and bring it back to 90 degrees. Do not give any jerks while doing these exercises. Let's start again with marching. Bring your knees as high up as possible and try not to let your heart rate drop. This is a high intensity workout so try to maintain your heart rate at a high rate. We will now start by doing leg curls along with bicep curls but we will be doing it with alternate hand and legs. So for example if you are doing a right leg curl you will do a left hand bicep curl. It's also okay to feel a little bit of a burning sensation in your biceps or in your calf muscle that's a good indication that we are working out properly. The next exercise is bent over row, specifically for your upper back muscles. Start by keeping a little bit of distance between your legs, knees slightly bent and bend forward from your back but make sure to keep your back straight. Keep both of your hands near your body at 90 degrees and lift them up slightly to open up your chest area and feel a little bit of a squeeze between your shoulder blades. Now we will be doing double side step along with shoulder press. While taking steps outside, lift your hands over your head and then gradually relax. We will be taking two steps to the right and then two steps to the left. Let's begin with marching and march and march and march and keep going on. You can take a sip of water if required. Hopefully your heart rate has increased a little bit, at least a little bit and we can keep going on and push ourselves for another set before we end. Next up we have lateral raises. Stand with a little bit of distance between your legs and while lifting your arms up from the side keep your elbows slightly bent. Lift your hands up only till your shoulder level that is till 90 degrees and gradually bring them down.
let's focus a bit more on our lower body we will be doing squats with side kicks for those who need support you can place a chair in front of you and do the same so we will be doing a squat and do alternate side kicks so squat kick and squat kick we will be moving forward to lunges you can take support if required stand normally and bring one leg back make sure while bending from your knees and coming up you should use the pressure from the leg which is placed behind in case anyone is having a little bit of a knee pain or knee issues bend as much as possible only in your comfort zone Just to spice things up slightly further, we will be doing modified burpees. First, we will begin by raising both our hands up. Take support of a chair or a countertop. Gradually bring one leg back, then the other, and again the same foot forward and the other forward. So hands up, right, left, right, left. Hands up. left right left right just to stabilize everything that we've done we'll do a little bit more of marching you can reduce the pace gradually and stop
just to cool everything down we'll be starting with a few stretches first we'll start with a capsular stretch place one hand over your shoulder and with your other hand push back to feel a stretch in your shoulder area hold for at least 10 seconds and then switch your hand keep normal now we will do a tricep stretch place one hand over the shoulder of the same side with your other hand pull your hand backwards feel the stretch in your tricep area again hold for at least 10 seconds and change the hand We will now do a lateral trunk stretch. Let's start by bending towards the left side. Stretch your right hand up and as if someone is pulling you further to the left side, push yourself further, further, further. Feel the stretch in the entire side of your right body. Now, do the similar with your left side. bend over to the right left hand up as if someone is pulling you towards the side feel the stretch entirely down the left side now you can take support of a wall or a chair if required we will be doing quadricep stretches we will start with the right leg bend and hold your ankle Without bending forward, just bend your knee and pull your leg back slightly to feel the stretch over the front of your thigh. Do the same with your left leg. Make sure you do not bend forwards. Maintain a straight posture and pull your leg back. Lastly, we will be doing a hamstring stretch. Move back to touch your buttocks to the wall and gradually while exhaling, bend forward as much as possible to feel a stretch all the way from your calf muscles to your thighs to your low back. Make sure you do not give jerks and bend as much as possible. Those of you who can do it without support you can go ahead gradually while coming up inhale and relax take a few deep breaths and exhale i hope you enjoyed this session and i hope to see you all soon